y'all, Bridget Bartley here with visionmarketinganddesign.com. And today I'm going to show you how you can create and install a Facebook pixel. It's really important for tracking all your data. Even if you're just getting started, you want to go ahead and install it because you want to be tracking all of your marketing efforts. If you are new to online marketing, you want to start an online business, you can always check out my website, visionmarketinganddesign.com. You can see how I was able to quit my full-time job in just seven months and also pick up a copy of my new book, Find Your Niche, which is the number one first thing that you need to do when starting an online business. So as an agency owner, I have a client, it's a DPG Builders, okay? They're located here in Indianapolis, Indiana. And what I need to do, I've created the website for them. So what I need to do now is create a Facebook pixel. So if you don't have a business manager account through Facebook, you can go to face business.facebook.com to create a manager account. Now, when you create the account, you're going to come to the menu like this. And there are several ways to create the actual pixel, but um, my favorite way, I guess, is just going to the events manager. And then you're gonna select the correct account that you wanna put it under. I have several but I'm just gonna go ahead and um, select the vision marketing and design. And then I'm gonna choose add new data source, Facebook pixel. Now from here, I want to make sure to name my pixel something I'm going to recognize. So for this purpose, I'm gonna put DPG builders because that's the name of my client. So when I look at all of my pixels, I'm able to see which pixel is for DPG builders. So after you've named the pixel, the next thing you need to do is put the URL of the website. So I'm just going to go back to the website. I'm going to click so I get the full URL, which is the HTTPS. Okay. So then I'm just going to right click and copy, go back over to event managers. Then I'm just going to right click and paste and then continue. Okay, so once you hit continue, you're gonna come to this menu here. So it's saying continue managing my business or set up pixel now. So I'm going to choose set up pixel now. And then it's gonna say add code, code using partner integration, manually add Pixis code to website or email instructions to a developer. So basically if you were a small business and you had someone who was managing your web design for you, then you could just click email to send to that person and that would give them the code to go ahead and install. But since I'm gonna do this for myself, I'm going to click manually add pixel code to website. So now I have this code here. You can simply click on it. And as soon as you do, it's copied to your clipboard. You can see that it turns green there. Now you can hit continue. And it's going to ask, do you want to use the Facebook's event setup tool? So you can go ahead and click yes. So we'll go ahead and do that. But we have not installed the code yet. Okay, so what we need to do is go to the website manager that we use. Now I use Builderall. So if you want to try a seven day trial of Builderall, you can do that on my website, visionmarketinganddesign.com forward slash trial. You'll see my bonuses here. Um, and actually I give you a short video of how to find the best free affiliate programs, but you can also get a chatbot template, which is at over $1,200 value. This is incredible. This takes hours and hours, if not weeks and months to create. This is completely done for you that you can customize however you like. There's also the top high converting sales funnel templates done for you that I include in your membership. And there's also a lead magnet sales funnel template complete with the free download that you'll get just for trying the platform. So. Uh, it's a win-win, no credit card needed to try the platform. I mean, it's pretty much a no-brainer. So uh, on Builderall, this is what the dashboard looks like. There's over 35 tools and you can customize your dashboard. These are just the main tools that I use. Uh, the builder that I use right now is Pixel Perfect Builder. Once you click Pixel Perfect Builder app inside of the Builderall platform, you'll see a list of all of my websites here. So I'm not just an affiliate. I, I really do use this platform for a lot of my clients. So I'm going to find the dpbuilders.com website, and I'm just going to click the blue circle here to edit. 
Now remember, we've already copied the code to the pixel on our clipboard. So it's already copied there. Now we just need to paste. Okay, so now that we are inside the editor, I'm just going to click this little page with the plus sign button here on the left hand side. That is going to give me the layouts within this website. There's just one layout here. And then I'm gonna click this blue button with the little gear icon, and that is going to allow me to edit the settings of this particular layout. So what I'm gonna do is go down to this box that says Facebook Pixel Script. I'm just going to click inside the box, and then I'm going to hit Control V to paste, and then I'm going to save. I'm going to go over here to the top right hand corner and save that as well and then save and publish hit confirm okay so now that we've done that we need to then copy the url again and then we're going to go back to the business manager inside facebook and then we're going to right click and paste the url in the box there then you hit enter okay so what you're seeing here is facebook we have installed the pixel on the website Facebook has found the website URL, it has found the tracking pixel, and now it's asking us, what do you want to track on this website? Until you get into ads and until you really want to break this down and get some really good analytics, you could just click view content or lead if you chose to do that. But I want to show you how you can actually track certain things. Okay, this is getting pretty detailed that I never see anyone. They usually want you to pay for Facebook ads and all kinds of stuff, but I'm just going to show you the basics here. Okay, the only event that's showing up here is just the lead. So what that means is when we look at the analytics that this pixel has picked up, this is going to be whatever basically this URL is going to come up as a lead. So it's going to show lead. Now that's not really what we want to do. Once we start running conversion ads, we want the lead to be a landing page that they get to after they enter their information. But for the purpose of this video and not getting too deep into all of that, I'm just going to show you how you can track a few things. Okay. So like we're going to track a button because obviously, you know, if they request a free estimate, that's something that we want to know if that would probably be considered a lead, even though, like I said, there's a different process for tracking leads if you're running a conversion campaign. But again, for this purpose, we're just going to say that this is going to be a lead. So you click that button and then you can hit from the drop down menu here. And you can choose any of these options here, but like I said, for this purpose, we'll just call this lead and then we'll just click confirm. So once you're done, you know, choosing all of the events that you wanted to track, you can click finish setup and then finish again. And then it says it's complete. So you can test the events now. And then what you'll want to do is just come over here and then click free estimate. And then if you go back to the analytics section of your pixel you get into analytics you will have these options here it shows all of my pages and you'll go down to the section that says pixels you'll find the pixel that we created dpg builders and you'll notice there's nothing here because we just created it and here is well where you will find all of the data that it draws in now you can see that's really important if you're doing Google ads, you can run retargeting. So basically what that means is if they're looking, say, so this particular company is a builder company in Indianapolis. So if they are looking for builders in Indianapolis or reconstruction or, or some one of the keywords, they go to this website, say they're like, ah, oh, never mind, you know, I'm too busy or I'll choose another company. What you can do with that pixel is you can track it and then you can retarget them on Facebook. I'm sure you guys have seen that often where you go Googling something and then you find now you're receiving Facebook ads on it. So I hope you found some value in this. One day I'll go into a much deeper explanation of Facebook ads and all of that. But for this purpose, I wanted to explain to you exactly how in the very beginning with no experience, you can easily install a Facebook pixel on your website and start bringing in that data. It's very, very crucial. Even if you're not ready to do paid ads yet, start tracking because online marketing is all about the analytics and tracking and, and redefining and adjusting 
so that you can target your market and you can reduce your ad spend. So again, I hope you found some value in this and check out my website, visualmarketinganddesign.com. I have all kinds of training resources and favorite things and my agency services as well. So I hope you have a great day. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Have a good one. Bye.